to show a little bit about how I teach backup. So I taught Easy how to back up, which I showed earlier, and Deuce how to back up, and Chase knows two ways to back up. I'm going to show you how I taught Hazy to back up, and we'll do it in segments because, like anything, it, you can't teach it all in one fell swoop. You have to build on the building blocks. So I've got cheese, my string cheese, frenzy, and my clicker. Yeah. She knows when the clicker goes, she gets a treat. So, first of all, I have, whoa, careful. I have a towel. You can use like a, a plastic gardening rug or something for girl. You can do um, anything that's different. So we've got grass and I've got a towel. She gets clicked for getting on the towel. So, good girl. I'm gonna lure her on to the towel and, per, and just click and give her cheese because she doesn't know what she's doing. There's nothing to tell her that she's doing it. I don't use a word. I'm just clicking and feeding. And so now I get her to stand. Good girl. Good girl. So she knows her back feet are on the towel. I might help her out with one. And if she comes off the towel, there's no clicks. I just get her back onto the towel. Okay. So I also use this for get to your spot. So she learns that this is her spot, but I'm going to teach that with the disc and not the towel. This is just purely for backing up. So if I can back her up now onto the towel, which I can't because she's collapsing into a down, which is what she's been taught. Now she's on the towel. Good girl. And if I can get her backed up on the towel, great. If not, it's a little premature because I just want to click her on the towel. And that's literally what this, uh, this lesson is for the first while. I might turn her back around this way and get her more directly on the towel. Get both of those feet so she knows. When those back feet are on the towel, she gets a click and a treat. Come back around because she doesn't know backup yet, so we're not doing that. Yeah! So she did step back onto it at that point, so I wanted to reward that. Just let her know that when those back feet hit that towel, that's a really good sign. Right, girl. So this is what we're going to build off of, and then we'll do the next lesson. Uh, after we do this, we'll, we'll do this probably three or four times just to really reel home that this, when we hit this towel, the back legs hit this towel, we get clickers and treats. Deuce, showing how I trained Deuce to back up, I got him to back up by throwing food back at him and, make, and stepping into him and telling him to back up but never letting him come towards me for the food. So it wasn't come back, come, it was a back up, and then I throw the food at him. You have to have a good throw, and I don't. Good boy. He's very excited to do this. Good boy. But I'm going to point out something in this, is how I taught him how to back up. And this is a little bit just him, but he takes small steps back with his front feet, is how he's powering this back up. So it's a little different than you'll see Hazy's because he's focusing on his front feet backing up. So this is the second uh, installment, trying to keep Frenzy from eating my flowers. Normally these are gated off because she's a puppy. I don't expect her to be awesome. I set her up for success. So um, I've been working a little bit more on what we saw just a second ago of just rewarding for her to sit on the towel. So I have my clicker in this hand with string cheese and I usually put some string cheese in my mouth so it's easy accessible and she gets rewarded for sitting on the towel. So if I bring her back here and I just wait, I put the food away, we'll see what she does. If she figures out that I want to ask her for something, sometimes she goes to it, sometimes she's like, how do I get the food? I'm putting the food away in my mouth and we'll see if she can get that rear end on the towel. Can you go on your towel? Good. So she did. So I'm rewarding for that behavior because she's sitting on the towel. So we're going to move off the towel. And I'm going to put her, I'm going to move her back onto it and click her. So move off. Move back onto it. 
trying to get her to stand up and back up. Oh, there we go. See, she's starting to get it. She's starting to figure out that she gets the clicker and the treat when those back feet find the towel. I'm showing her I don't have food. And I'm going to help her back because she can't do it all on her own right now. So I'm guiding her in and clicking when those feet get on there. I'm going to guide her in. I'm trying to get her to stand so she can back up. So she just, she's, yes, good girl. So when she actually takes a step back and hits the towel, yes, good girl. I'm going to sit here and click and I'm going to feed her because both feet are on the towel and that's what I want. So she, you can see she's starting to put it together that standing on the towel with their back feet is what I want. So I'm, I'm helping her by getting her back. Notice my hand is underneath driving her back. Now she's getting it. So the more I can drive her backwards and if I, I'll show you a second, if I put my hand up and drive her back, she's just going to sit. So it doesn't help. So I keep my hand back here and she's getting the back up. She's starting to learn that she has back feet and once they hit something that's different, see, she, you can see she's starting to figure out those back feet. So this is that next step of first starting to reward them. See, now she gets it. She sits on her towel, she gets a click and a treat. So it's rewarding that behavior and then bringing them off and helping them find it back. Good girl. And now I can start adding, get back to it when I feel like she's starting to get the behavior consistently. Get back. Yeah! Good girl. Good girl, Frenzy. Good girl. So bring her off. Help guide her back. If she doesn't get it, she doesn't get the click, nor does she get the treat. I'm trying to give her, yeah, good girl. Good girl. Very good. And I'll start using the term when she gets it. Get back. I don't want to use it too much because I want her to get it. Go. Go back. Get back. You might play a little bit. I'm trying to figure it out. Go back. Get back. Get back. Good. Good girl forward, get back. Yes, good back. Bring her forward, get back. Good back. So this is the start of it, of her understanding. Just one step, get back. Ah, good girl. Back. Good girl. Get back. Yeah, good girl. See? So that's, I'm out of cheese. It's a one stick, uh, one cheese stick training lesson. But you can see from rewarding her for being on the towel and then taking her off and helping her find the towel, she's starting to figure it out. And now I have Hazy who, she learned her back up how I'm teaching Frenzy. Back up. So back up, back up. Good. So she's trying to find with her back feet the, the different type of texture that she taught on. Back up. She flies backwards trying to find something with her back feet. Now, at this point, she's done it so many times, she's not trying to find something. She knows that she's backing up. But this is the ultimate goal that we're trying to get to with Frenzy, is that that space where, where she's gonna shoot backwards. Back up. Good girl. I can use this in confirmation and I can use it in draft. Ready? Get back, get back. Get back, get back, get back. Get back. Yeah! It's about a week from the last one. And we're gonna set her on her plot on her place. Good. Get her back feet rewarded. Reward for those back feet on the on the towel. So she kind of gets that whole process. Good. I'm trying not to reward for the jumping up. Good. So do you see that? She planted her butt on the towel. So I'm gonna pull her off and then push her back, not giving her anything. Good. And give her something when she her back feet hit the table, or the towel. Nothing, 
Yeah, good girl. So she's starting to get the hang of that walking backwards. Good, and I, I'm clicking the second both of her feet hit the towel. Good girl. I'm closing my hands, keeping the cheese in my fist, but pushing her back with it, and she gets it when she hits the towel. I, I click the second her feet hit the towel, so she knows when she gets a treat. So we're gonna try and make it a little bit cleaner so I'm not having to push her back into it. So I'm gonna give her a little bit more space with the bait. I've turned my fist the other way. Good girl. Good. Good. So I'm gonna just keep pushing her back. We got this motion pretty good. Take another step. This is the longest we've had out. She finds it with her back feet. I click. Couple. Yeah, good girl. So did you see that scoot when she's like, oh, I gotta get backwards. That's the button that I want. I want to see that and I know we're making progress. Good. Yeah! So with the clicker, you don't always have to say anything because the clicker marks the reward. It marks when they've done it right. Yes, good girl. So when I first started this process, she'd just sit. She would not back up. But now she's gotten the idea that her back feet need to make to find this other the other surface that's there for her because I've rewarded for those back feet to be on the towel. Good girl. And then we're gonna do one more time and be done. Yeah, good girl. Oh, we're gonna try and get both feet on. Yes, good girl, good girl, Frenzy. Yeah, you did a good job. So that was a lot of learning, a lot of clicker treating. She gets now that she gets the reward when her booty is on the towel. And to show more backups, this is Chase's backup. She did learn by me asking her to go backwards and throwing food at her back up. The idea is that I stay for I stay where I'm at. Get back. Good girl. So I throw food at her. She's not coming forward to get the food. I'll, I'll bring her in. Back up. So she knows she gets the food only if she backs up. And I started by teaching her. Come here. It's by stepping into her and saying, back up, back up. Good girl. Back, 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 up, back up. And then it evolved into me being able to say, back up. And I threw food at her. And so she stayed back while she got the food. She got rewarded in that back up position. And so that's super important. Back up. Back up, back up, back up. So that's Chase's backup. She loves to do it. We've shown the journey of teaching Frenzy how to back up. We started when she was a baby puppy on a towel and associating backing up with picking those back feet up and hitting the towel. So we'll show you where she is today. She's five months old. She, I wasn't super religious about training her this. So she's getting quite a bit better as she's gotten older. I've worked with her a few times on it and she's done great. And so now we're, we're at the point where she can be repetitive in it. Frenzy. So I've got my cheese. Back up, back up, back up. Yeah. So she can take a few steps back. Ah. Back up, back up. Yeah, good girl. So she backs up a lot like Hazy, but notice her picking up her back feet. Frenzy. E, E, back up. Good girl. So she's leading with her back feet to go. Ah. Trying to work on the no jumping. Good girl. Good back up. She gives it as a behavior. She loves to back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Yeah. <laughs> she's still learning how to go that far. So it's through a routine of the clicker training of finding the uh, towel with her back feet, 
she's learned how to back up without looking behind her. She's pretty cute about it. She uses it as one of her behaviors. So now all of my dogs back up pretty well. And she can do it. I, I just use my hand at her like this. Get back up. Back up. Good girl. So for me, that's going to become in, invaluable for carting uh, when we do draft, but also in obedience ring to get her to back up. Um, when I'm resetting different, uh, you know, if I want her to, for the recall or for hand signals, just so, spice it up like I do my spin or give five. It's a trick for her and it's fun. So I also, I use it a lot for confirmation. So Frenzy doesn't have a lot of confirmation chops at this point, but if I'm in the ring and I'm free baiting and I say back up, my dog knows to take a step backwards. That's how I teach a backup, uh, and it's an evolution, but then once they get it, once they start taking those two steps on their own, once they start taking the two steps on their own, they're quite uh, proficient at starting to get three and four steps backwards. So keep working with the dog. It's a slow succession of that clicker training so they know what you're asking, but once that hogs inside start clicking, they're like, oh, I know what she's asking, and they start to find those back feet to find those towels. So, uh, and then you can take the towel away because you're rewarding for them to back up, which they associate with backing up then. So, happy training. Have fun teaching a backup. I've enjoyed it. Uh, so, enjoy, enjoy your training. Enjoy your backing up. And let me know if you have any questions. As Miss Loudmouth here will attest. Right? You take.